first YouTube video. Let's go. Things you want to do modded online fights with your friends, which is quite fun. I'll show you how. It's quite simple. Before we begin, I want to mention I stream Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays on Twitch. I play Xenos 2 Player vs Player Battles. Modded online fights each Sunday. Link in the description below. Now, before we, before I get into this, I want to mention that having a having a prior modding experience is a plus. It's not. I won't say it's. Well, it's. I would say it's needed, but it's not. If you're come brand new to modding, you can still do this. But I would highly recommend to watch another modding video before you watch this one. I can link slow plays video down below on how on how to get started with modding. Now I've been modding the Zoomers 2 since launch of the game. I've been enjoying it so much. Recently I started to stream the modding online fights. It's it's a lot of fun. PC PC Zoomers 2 is meant for modding. It's really fun. I highly recommend it. If you're watching this video, you also want to do the modded online fights. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go into your XV2 patch here folder. Open up the configuration file. Now you're going to keep scrolling down until you find the excess, excessive air contamination, which is really just EAC. This will disable your EAC. It's important to note that both users need to do this, or all users need to do this. It's set to false by default. You need to set it to true. Uh, you guys didn't see if I, I just saved it uh, with Control S. I meant to do file save to show you. I do Control S by default. Of course I have it. One more note while you're in the configuration file. You want to make sure the offline mode is set to false. It's automatically set to false, but sometimes... Like for me, sometimes, most of the time, I will set it to true. So just have the game load up faster. Sometimes I forget. It's important to note, because sometimes you'll uh, it'll mess it up. So yeah. Once you have that set, now you want to, I can go ahead and go in here. Well, I guess first you got to make sure you install mods, of course, right? So get all the mods you want, every single mod, they both, both, all players will use. Apologies, I know I'm rambling. This is my first uh, attempt at a YouTube video, so there's going to be some uh, hiccups. So you go down to here. Well, I'll show you down here what, what I have currently installed. I have 183 mods installed. Now, I usually have about, let's say, we usually have four people join, including myself, for these fights. So they all put in what mods they want and what mods I consider would be pretty good. These are all nice, good mods. I install all the revamp mod because revamp is a great team. They do such a good job. All right, we can push the revamp uh, promotion out of the way. All right, so yes, let's get back into it. So now you have all the mods installed that you want to use during their fights. So now you go down to data, and what you need to do, all you need to do right here is to highlight all of this and put it into a 7 into a zip folder using 7-zip I cannot be more clear about that use 7-zip please stop using RimRAR RimRAR is just in all honesty it's a waste of time I've seen other users use it you guys have you have so many issues using RimRAR it opens different windows that don't need to be open. Just, and it, it asks you to pay for it each time. I know you don't have to, but just, it's a time waster. Do 7-Zip, please. 
Yeah, it will zip the f and then uh, I will fast forward to the point where this this is done. All right, we have fast forward, and now the data file is now zipped. Now, one quick note: only one person needs to do this. Both users do not need to do this. Only one of you should zip the data folder. Now, what the important thing to note is to have it be one who is more familiar with modding. If someone is brand new to modding versus someone who... If your friend is brand new to modding and you've been modding for a while, you should zip the data folder. You'll understand it more. Uh, if anything goes wrong, you can fix it on your end. And it's whoever has the better speed, internet speed. That's also worth noting. So after it's zipped, you'll go right up to here to just put in your main Xenos 2 folder. Now you just need, you should rename it. I rename it to Modded Online Fights Data. Now, now when you, when you're, uh, I'll mention it later in the video. All right, so now that it's na renamed and all that, you can now upload it to Mediafire. Uh, it's a highly recommended to use Mediafire. You could use, uh, I think, Mega or something like that, but I just, I prefer Mediafire. So that's another show. So you go ahead and add file. You just go ahead and click on it and open it and then you'll It'll show up preparing. Now I would don't don't hit begin upload just yet. Make sure this is queued. So now that the file is queued up, we can go ahead and go ahead and hit begin upload. It takes about 10 15 minutes as I just mentioned. Alright, now we will time travel forward when the upload is done. Alright, we have time traveled forward and the upload is done. You can see here that it's fully uploaded. We'll go here to copy link and once it's copied just open this up and you can send it out to your friends that will be joining you in these fights. Now one uh, quick note before you send it over to your friend. Make sure they back up their current data folder. You can easily do this by simply dragging it to the desktop or what I do is I rename my data folder just with an underscore right in front and the patcher will not catch it okay so once that's all done and ready you can go ahead and start off the game through the bin folder I cannot stress that enough do not start it through steam steam will have the EAC start. You, you want to avoid EAC. You just did it. You just did the setting in the XV2 patcher to, to disable the EAC. So please start it through the bin folder. As always with modding. Those who are familiar with modding know to start with the bin folder. Alright, so I believe that's everything. That's all you need to do. I hope you enjoy your modded online fights. I do want to mention again, I do stream these modded online fights on Twitch each Sunday. I regularly stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday and Saturdays are on the PS4, and on Sundays are the modded online fights. I'll put a, just, I'll put a link to my Twitch in the description below. I also want to mention my Discord server where we coordinate our battles for Sunday. If you'd like to join, the description will have the link below. And uh, let, tell us how your modded online fights go in the comments below. If you do have any questions, please ask me on Discord. If you do ask me on the YouTube video comments, I'll try to answer it. But I'm more likely it's a lot faster to have me answer it on discord 
Also, comment down below if you'd like to see more tutorials from me with uh, Zimmer's team modding. I've been modding it since Zimmer's 2 launch, so I most likely know what to do. Most likely. Yeah, catch you later. Oh, wait. Oh, yikes. No, no, that's gonna hurt. Yo! I got out of the way. Oh, no, no, not again. Oh, my goodness. All right. Oh no 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 Oh you better move Oh anyway oh crap No I wanted to ultra instinct I got ah I missed it I was in ultra instinct I kept going